Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to do this three-dimensional countdown timer in HitFilm Express. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take information that I have taught in two different tutorials and combine them to make this tutorial. I'm going to take what I taught in the countdown timer tutorial and combine it with what I taught in the decay effect part one tutorial to create this three-dimensional countdown timer. So first we're going to start by making the countdown timer. I'm going to make a new composite shot. This timer can be whatever I want and in terms of time, I'm just going to make it, how about 10 minutes, okay? A 10-minute countdown timer sounds great. I'm going to start by clicking on New Layer and add a plain layer. It can be black. That'll be fine. And click OK. Then, under the effects, I'm going to search for the time code effect. It's under the Generate folder. I'm going to drag that in here. And as you can see, now we have this timer, and we're just it goes all the way up to 10 minutes, okay? What I want to do is, is I just want to fill the screen with it. So I'm going to start by opening up its properties. Under center, I want to go ahead and center it. Okay, so make it 0 and 0 under the position. And I'm going to scale it up as big as it can be, which is 100. Uh, and it's too bad it doesn't go bigger than that, but that's as big as it goes. So now what I want to do is, is I just want to scale it up under the transform properties until... Basically, I chop out the edges and I only have, let's go 560, I only have those pieces. So now it's just sort of counting up there like that, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to take the time reverse effect and drop it down underneath here. So now it's going to count down instead of up, okay? So it's starting here at almost 10 minutes and then it counts all the way down to zero, okay? <laughs> just like that, okay? So that's how you do the countdown timer. Now, if you want it to have a transparent background, which you probably do, it's really easy to do. We'll just add a demult key underneath the other two to make it transparent. Okay, so there's your countdown timer itself. All right, now let's create the three-dimensional extruded timer itself. So we're going to start by making a new composite shot, and I'm going to call this shot the mat, okay? Clicking OK, I'm going to bring the timer in, all right? I'm also going to bring in a new plane, and I want that plane to be white, so I am going to search for the fill color effect, and I'm going to drop that on here. Now, I could also just make a plane that is white. If I open this up, I can make it 100% white, okay? Turning off the timer, I am now going to search for the set matte effect. And it's under the matte enhancement. And I'm just going to drag that onto the plane. And then if I open up the properties there, I can source the timer. So now I basically have the same time code timer cut out of this plane. Okay. Now I want to create my bevel um, matte, which I'm going to use in the final. Okay. The good news here is that it's exactly like this, except I add one more effect. So what I'm going to do is right click on the mat and just say duplicate. And then if I hit my F2 key, I can rename this my bevel. So it's now the bevel. I'm going to double click to open it up. And I just need to add one more effect already to these two. And that is the mat cleaner effect. I'm going to drag that on here, opening this up. I want to feather this. I can feather this as much as I want the bevel to be. I don't want it to be very big, so I'm just going to feather it about 10 pixels. All right, so now we're going to create a new composite shot that will house our texture. So I'm going to new composite shot, and I'm going to label this with texture, clicking OK. And I have a folder here of different pictures that I took while I was at the library. And I took these pictures uh, because I was bored and my son was there for a chess event. Uh, and I went around and took these, what I thought were interesting pictures of different textures. So I'm just going to drag all these textures in here, okay? And so we have a brick wall, right? Uh, we have a picture of the carpet. I have a painted wall, right? I have wood 
and then I have a, the wooden floor itself too, okay? So if I change one of the textures in my texture folder, it will automatically change the texture of the countdown timer. That'll be the cool thing, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and right click, or sorry, new composite shot and call this the final count down timer, okay? And click OK. And this will be the final countdown timer. Countdown timer. Let me fix that. Countdown timer. OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my texture in first. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my mat, but hide it. And I'm going to bring in the bevel and hide it also. OK. I'm going to start by using the set mat effect on the texture itself. Opening this up, I want to source the mat. So now I have cut out of the texture my timer itself. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is, is I want to find the parallax effect. Okay. And this will be sort of the secret sauce of this entire effect. So I'm going to drag the parallax effect onto here. And if I hit my F2 key, I can change this. And I'm going to label this the parallax effect for the bevel. Okay. And the reason I'm labeling it that is because if I open it up, I'm going to source the bevel as my height map. And I am going to invert it too. Now, not much is happening. The reason is because I haven't lit the scene. And as you know, when using the parallax effect, you need a light on the scene to get the most out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and say new layer light. And it wants to add a camera and the answer will be yes. And so now I have this light. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the crosshairs of the camera. And I'm just going to bring the light forward to sort of expose uh, maybe, you know, that much. Okay. So now you can see that this 3D timer is starting to take place. Okay. I can adjust the, the 3D-ness of it or the extrusion of it. I can, and I think I will make it a little bit deeper you know, just because, okay? Yeah, and I think that looks really nice, okay? So now I'm gonna add a second parallax effect, and it is going to create that texture, and this will be the, the parallax on the, using the texture from our original texture source. So I'm just going to invert it, okay? And I don't want quite such a harsh texture. I think I'll back it down a little bit, okay? Um, and I can always mess with the lighting and all that kind of stuff, okay? But here's the basic idea, okay? Now, if I go into the texture, for instance, and I change the wood texture into the other wood texture, then it automatically updates it here in the timer, okay? If I go back into the texture and I put the painted wall on, then it will create... Uh, whoops, it will create its, you know, its texture. That's maybe a little bit much, so I might knock that down a little bit, right? If I come in here and I, uh, ooh, the carpet would be very interesting, I am sure. Um, and I could make that deeper, or I could make that less. I think deeper is better, you know? I don't know. You know, I would just sort of play with that. It's a very different texture. And then, of course, there's the brick wall, okay? And the brick wall, you know, what do you think? Maybe about there, okay? And so, you know, there is your countdown timer three dimension. Now you say, is this um, transparent? And the answer is yes, it is, okay? So in other words, if I were to put a picture behind it, you can see that it actually is a transparent. And you could actually export this as a, an AVI with the alpha channel intact and then use it in your different, um, you know, whatever you want it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Say for instance, I was to uh, make a new composite shot uh, and then I drag my final countdown timer in here. Where is it? I don't even see it. Oh, it must be in the textures. <laughs> it is. If I were to drag the final countdown timer in here, okay. Oh, no. Boy, I hate when that happens.